Let me know, please. Morali Madhavniyama, this is Rosie Daya. Morali Madhavniyama. Um, just the last part that you said, the particles of the unbelievers will be in the blood or something like that. So then how does that work? Like they are unbelievers, but the particles are in other people's bodies. So we all have particles of the souls, meaning that all the particles. Okay, let me give you another example that would make it more simpler. Thank you, by the way, asking that question and that gave me another thought and it, it will become more simpler. When Mola Ali says that you think of yourself as a small being, the whole universe is within you. What does that mean? How can this whole universe be within one of us? Each one of us, in the form of the particles of the soul, the whole universe is within ourselves, but it is in dormant stage. When these particles of the souls go through the law of procreation, becoming children, there will be some who will be unbelievers and there will be some who will be believers. But that's a different thing. This question was asked, that's why I covered it. But I hope that we understand the concept of Zuriyat. And it is so beautiful that you reminded me this uh, Mola Ali's saying, we will have to realize how come this whole universe is within me. It is not possible. But it becomes possible when we understand this concept of Zuriyat. Whenever there is a resurrection happening, the change is happening. Simply, if let's say you doing Giryavazari, doing Zikr and something changes in your heart and you feel more energetic, more alive because you did some Giryavazari, you did some Zikr, you find yourself having more strength, meaning those souls which were dormant, you brought them to life and now they are helping you, supporting you, making you strong. Does that help? Uh, yes, it does. So the I have a particle of an unbe uh, unbeliever in me, right? Is that correct? Okay, that was example. The particles uh, of the whole universe. Now this universe have has everybody. This the reason I talked about unbelievers because this is a question which was asked in context of Hazrat Noah Salam. When this deluge right. came in. Everybody died. Everybody. Except Hazrat Nuh salam and his few believers friends. In fact, if you were to know about his story, uh, when this huge wave comes on and Hazrat Nuh salam sees his wife and he, he cries out and he says, Oh Allah, my wife. And then he sees his own son who is not on the ark. And this huge wave is coming on. He says, son, please come on the ark. You'll be saved. Otherwise, you'll be drowned. And he says, no, I'm okay outside. And then he prays to Allah. Oh, Allah, please let my son come on, on board. He will drown. And Allah says, your family is those who are your followers. To that extent, those who were not following Hazrat Nuh salam those who were unbelievers all died at that time. The world was vanished except those who were on the this ark. So the question would be, follow-up question would be, how come today we see there are unbelievers? And that's how this concept comes in that when these particles of the soul, when they go through the process of procreation, and with their free will, if they decide to not follow, they go into the category of ignorant. But those who follow become the believers. Yeah, okay. I think I'm getting it. Thank Shuk you, Niamat. Shukar Mola. Any other question? Shabnam uh, here. Yali Mahat Shabnam. Yali Mahat You just say that... Uh, he asked Mawladev to save my wife, so did he, did she got saved or what happened to her? She drowned. She didn't get saved because she was not followed, mm -hmm. followed yes. to him. Okay, in his son as well. 
So Zuriyat can be the generation of the souls that were present at that time? Yes. How can you compare the resurrection during Nu with resurrection Kiyama of Hassan Allah Zikr salam? So it's not that the resurrection is not limited to Hazrat Nu alayhi salam or uh, Imam alayhi zikr alayhi salam. The resurrection actually happens every time, every age. Now, the concept of resurrection is huge and very difficult concept. But remember, we are trying to make things very simple and learn bit by bit. So it's easy for us to grasp this difficult concept. So today, where we are standing, I would say, Try and think of resurrection as change, simple change. And I, as I gave example er, earlier, that when we do Giriya Uzari and we feel so light, we are feeling so connected, we feel so alive, as if, what did we do? We just said some zikr and shed some tears in love of Imam. What made that huge change in our personality? And before that we were feeling suffocated, you know, heavy-hearted, what not, anxious, you name it, all those feelings were there. But as soon as you sit down to do zikr, connect with the zikr, do girya uzari, seek imam's help, you feel like, oh, I'm so light, I'm flying. Think of that as a very minute, very, 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 very minute resurrection. Think of it as a change. Whenever there is a change, even if it's a tiny, it's a change. And the word, one of the meaning of the word resurrection is changes. So even if that small change we are able to bring in ourselves, meaning that we were able to bring that particle of the soul which was dormant, we brought it to life and now that particle is supporting us, making us feel light. Because whatever was burdening us, making us feel very heavy, we were able to get rid of that. It washed away somehow. Those cells who came to life because they were brought to life with name of Mala, they were able to engulf all those anxieties or heaviness or whatever kasawat, whatever sin was there, it engulfed it and they overpowered. Carnal soul was, was suppressed and conscious soul came on and that gave us energy. So it's a very tiniest example of resurrection but resurrection is a huge concept it happens constantly and it's never ending actually another question i read so when we are born we carry their particles with us or only prophets and imams carry zuriyat very good question i would give example of mola ali the saying of Mawla Ali, as Mawla Ali said, the whole universe is within you. So we also have all the particles of the souls. But we do see that those Mominins who are higher ranking, they have more living souls within them than poor people like me. Any other question? You're asking beautiful questions. Let me tell you that. Yali Madad. Malai Madad. Farzana. Ji, Yali Madad. Kaise ya? Alhamdulillah. Wo puchta tha ke mujhe question tha ke maine hari pada hai ke like Imam wo Nus Azad Nur Salam ke baad dunya khatam ho gayi thi na? Ji, ji. To to ye matlab kuch sirf kuch log aur kuch janwar jo unke sath gaye the kashti mein hume to sirf wahi bache the to unse wapas puri duniya ko ye wo sirf ko certain part lage jab mein jo the ya wo certain part doob gaya tha ke chep jo bade paigambar hain unke se unke baad nayi duniya bani hai musa ke baad to wo matlab mujhe lagta hai unke areas mein puri whole world to nahi ho sakta hai good question so hamesha whenever these uh, stories are mentioned in the quran there are लेयर्स ऑफ इंटरप्रिटेशन बहुत सारी तावीलात होती है ना तो आपकी बात सही है कि क्या ये छोटे सी जगह पे हुआ था कि सारी दुनिया डूब गई थी कॉन्टेक्चुअली द इंटरप्रिटेशन द कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड 
that's how we take it so today when we are trying to understand the concept of zuriyat otherwise it will be difficult to understand so sometimes when we go into nitty gritty of the stories which is needed sometimes i would not deny that but whenever we are trying to digest absorb this difficult concept we will have to stick by one um, side of the story so today what i am doing in order to understand this concept i would say that the way we understand that when this deluge came in everything died down there was nobody in this world at least no human in this world everybody died but it was only hazrat nu alai salam who had this ark and with him there was zuriyat which was being born later on let me give you another difficult answer i'm going to give you a difficult answer because it will challenge our mind after adam azat adam alai salam he had two sons abel and cain habil or kabil right and um hazrat adam's janashin was habil but habil was killed by kabil because kabil became jealous of habil so he killed habil and the way we understand the story that the adam was the first man from his rib hawa came on and they had two children every day and the first two children were habil and kabil habil became habil was the janashin of adam but habil was killed by kabil if we were to believe that story then it would mean that the whole world today is the children of murderer because kabil was a killer he was not a good man he was a jealous man he was sinful what he did he killed habil and he took his place but that's what we have understood but today because we are growing in knowledge we would say how can it be we cannot be the children of a killer but that is the story we all grew up with but now today we understand that adam is was in cycle it was not a linear line it was a cycle so when adam was there as the first man of this cycle there were people from the previous cycle too so when Habil was killed by Kabil Shish became the janashin of Adam and I'll stop here because it will become difficult to keep continue to understand these difficult concept so what we are doing trying to take all these difficult concept and understand bit by bit so we can chew it we can understand it otherwise there'll be more chances of developing wrong concepts we are trying to study a very difficult book it might look very simple to us but it is not a simple book and i am myself realizing it that when i'm trying to make it simpler because there was a friend who said they have read it several times so to make it simpler we will have to take it from different aspects so we are able to understand these concepts so when we are walking on this path of this knowledge we cannot make it simple easy to understand that if there were no people how came people came on about today so to answer that question in context staying with the context of what we are learning today is zuriyat at that time all the unbelievers died they drowned in the deluge Hazrat Noah alayhi salam along with few believers and along with all the pairs of whoever he picked the animals and the birds they moved from that place to other place so they can start a new beginning a new life I am not sure if I'm confused you more or what but I hope thank you yeah I understand but like you know ये मतलब आई मीन वो छोटे छोटे क्वेश्चन है लाइक बच्चों वाले होते हैं लाइक बट आई एम नॉट लाइक गेटिंग इट के लाइक सब क्यों होता है
नहीं ये क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली बच्चों वाला नहीं है इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वट हैपन्स दैट हमको शौक है ना इनका वी आर वेरी क्यूरियस वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न एंड वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न ऑल द आस्पेक्ट ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ द नॉलेज बट वी कैन नॉट ईट एवरीथिंग टूगेदर और वी कैन नॉट लर्न ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द बुक टूडे राइट नाउ द गुड लर्नर द वे वी शुड लर्न इज टू लर्न स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो टूडे वेन वी हैव लर्न दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जुरियात वी कैन गो बैक एंड रिव्यू दीज वर्सेज we can go back to the book and read these questions and answers so it gets you know um internalized and then when we come back the next class we are able to connect dots it's all about learning digesting these concepts and being able to connect the dots so we keep moving ourselves step ahead step ahead if it were to be easy i can simply give you the book we can all read it on our own and we would know it but it's not that simple so inshallah today what we discuss the concept of zuriyat i'm telling you on this journey every concept will become easy and easily digestible ali allah is with us inshallah thank you for your time shukran mola all right i have another question i do not know uh, but i will see this question if the zuriyat is the particles of the soul of the nu and the multiple particles within him witness the spiritual upliftment of hazrat nu then what does the ark represent how can we understand the story of nu in today's time and at our personal level please explain now this question is a little bit at a higher level because it's been asked so i will try my best to give simpler answer to each one of us are, is able to benefit from this beautiful question thank you for asking this question so if there was changes happening resurrection happening in hazrat nu alai salam and all the zuriyat meaning all the particles of the souls were witnessing the changes happening in hazrat nu alai salam and what was the change the change was that when he merged himself with the imam what had happened the question was asked am i not your lord and all the particles of the soul said indeed you are our lord so today what we can understand how can we understand that each one of us has a inner being which is known as personal world alame shaksi and we are the king of that personal world this is the ark and i am the king each one of us is the king with the ark our personal world when we are able to go through the miracle of merging ourselves with ilm zikr ilm o ibadat ilm o amal all what we've been discussing about if we are able to bring ourselves to that level of being merging with the imam that universe comes to life that personal world is enlightened its divine light is there and it gets illuminated when it's illuminated all the realities and recognitions are realized there and there all the particles witness that resurrection so in other words how does it apply to us today if we were to walk follow the steps of our prophets and our imam go through all the conditions meet the criteria as imam said maulana imam sultan muhammad shah arwahun of fadahu you can become like peer sadardin if you want you can become like a prophet meaning that this miracle is available to us today too to each one of us if we were to go through the criteria meet those criteria make those sacrifices thank you again beautiful question another question i see deluge did happen or it is a symbolic and have a different connotation again it's a difficult it becomes difficult if we were to look at each story in the quran and try to see it physically 
it becomes very difficult but i personally believe that every story has a physical aspect as well as spiritual aspect it comes with time that understanding it comes with the time let it be physical or spiritual but i certainly believe that both the aspects are true and it does happen i see another question how about the cells which become refreshed when we wake up in the morning whether we do zikr or not during night so are these cells of our body which get refreshed after we wake up in the morning are zuriyat or soul particles beautiful question mashallah when beautiful questions are asked meaning that we are connecting the dots the concepts are being learned so thank you for asking another good question so again we are mixing two different context yes we are talking about particles of the souls when we go to sleep the tired souls tired particles of the souls do leave and the fresh particles do come back so we have energy in the morning to work physically do the work it's not related to zuriyat as per se does these souls change after 40 days actually i talked about it one of the lectures in zoom about 40 days and how uh, for example if we were to take the example of our skin which is the largest organ on our body and it takes almost 40 days to renovate the whole organ it goes through the change all the cells die and they regenerate the new cells come on our uh, body and it takes complete 40 days So yes these cells these souls do change in 40 days Good question another beautiful question who carries the zuriyat does my husband carry or do we both carry half and half now there is a science uh, physiology biology is also included xy chromosomes uh, women carry the egg the ovum and the men carry the chromosomes so it's in the loins of the men that gender cells are there but it's the mating of both makes those zuriyat particles of the souls go through the process of procreation each one of us has those particles but it is the ola the children has to go through the process of procreation This question reminds me of another beautiful uh, farman actually and it relates here Imam Aka Ali Shah has uh, made this beautiful farman Mola has said that a woman has this ability to help the seven generation of her maternal family her paternal family her husband's family to help them all merge with Imam a woman has that ability what did imam mean by that farman if we now understand that all the zuriyat is within us and it is continuous going on the particles of the souls of past present and the future if one moment is able to come to life and let's take example of our peer because that is easier for us P. Sadardin, uh, it is said that he took ten crore souls to salvation. If we were to look into the population at that time with P. Sadardin, there were not ten crore smileys at that time. So, who are we talking about? Who were those ten crore people? It is the zuriyat of the past and the future and the present. He was able to. take them through salvation and imam aka ali shah gives us this secret this wisdom full farman to us that a woman who is able to go through the resurrection she is able to not only merge herself but her seven generation coming in the future seven generation in the past of the both the families husbands and her own family to the salvation So when when I heard this farman as a child I of course didn't understand how is it possible but today when we understand the concept of zuriya the particles of the soul it makes sense that all those particles are in me 
of the past and the future, if one gets through the salvation, all those around can be brought, can be merged within, with Imam. That's why it is said that those souls, how did those souls who were not conscious were able to witness the deluge at Hazrat Nuh alayhi And that's why I gave you the other reference of chapter 7 verse 172 that Allah asks them, am I not your Lord? And they said, verily, indeed you are our Lord. Because Allah has this power of bringing them all to life, spiritual or inanimate everything and they are able to speak because Allah gives them a speech at that time. I think we should end here so we can continue to reflect, continue to think. Chet, I have a question. Please. Um, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The cells change, right? In 40 days, the yes. cells yes. change? Yes. So if a person is having a medical condition... It... You're mute again. If the cells... Yes, medical... Supposing it's a liver disease, and in 40 days everything is changed, so it's a new liver, so it should function better, and the person should feel better. But, you know, there are diseases that go on for years and years and years. So is he getting the past and future... Like, how does it all fit in? You're absolutely right. So what you're talking about, the physical power of the cells, here we are talking about the spirituality of those cells, the spiritual particles of the souls. So how do we understand that? Let's say this is a cell, okay? On the cell, there is a particle of the soul which is dormant, which is sleeping. But when we are able to bring that dormant soul the particle of the soul to life, it does give energy to that soul too. And if I were to tell you, there are miracles. We have seen the miracles with the power of prayers. Diseases have disappeared. The miracles of Hazrat uh, Isa Islam, the Jesus. How did he do what he did? All these mm -hmm. spiritual powers, does it apply physically? Yes, it does. But not to everyone. So how do we justify that? How do we uh, just... Spiritually. He did it spiritually. Yes, he did he it. He changed the spiritual... He, cha he changed the energy of the cells. Good answer. Perfect. He, yeah, he, he magnet... Okay, and that... Uh, so, okay, so supposing we've been here from the beginning with Hazrat Ali, and then the next imam comes, the next imam comes, and every time we take a, another life form, uh, or there is a Pantris Pachvis Solni Art, so supposing we are in in the in the first time we did not uh, get salvation in the thirty five lifetimes. Uh, uh, so we were not able to we were not able to ignite all our particles, right? Then then every time we took a, a human life, you would, the God would ask, "Am I your Lord or not?" And like I've heard that when people went into such life the first time, there were four groups or so three groups, and one group said. Yes, and then when they went into such that they forgot, they, they started to get doubt. And then they says, okay, if you guide us, then we will follow you, and then we will follow you, and inshallah, reach uh, Asal Mewasal. But that still hasn't happened, so what are we doing? Are we mistaking ourselves, or our Ramal is not good, or we are not able to ignite all of our particles by putting... Our ismiasm in every particle of our body, every cell of our body, right? Like, intellectually, you can understand it a little bit. But I, like, I'm the kind of thinker that wants to connect one to the other, to the other, to the other, till I understand the whole story. And I'll keep asking and asking and asking. And this is where I'm getting... Uh, so our Giryazari is not that intense, our Ibadat is not that intense because it comes and goes. Whereas the real uh, Noor would be there constantly and then there would be light and then there was nothing but light, no physical thing. You know, I'm trying to connect all that. You are connecting beautifully. Zina, actually you are asking question and you are answering too. So that's good. Of course, each one of us individually has to reflect and understand it. 
However, I personally do not agree with the concept of reincarnation. Uh, Quran talks about cycles and it talks about different kinds of souls. There are vegetative soul. This book actually we talked about it, vegetative soul, animal soul and human soul. But human soul is the most elevated and doesn't go down. It takes 50,000 years. Quran talks about 50,000 years, which is the bigger cycle than 7,000 years for a one soul to completely go through the salvation. If we do not do that within 100 years, then there's a cycle of 7,000, then then cycle of another 7,000, then 50,000 years. So each soul has this opportunity during our lifetime, 100 years, 80 years, whatever you want to say, with our free will to get to salvation during our lifetime. And if we are able to do exactly the way you said, Giriyazari, Zikr, Ibadat, you know, Amal Ki Pabandi, all those things, if we are able to do it through knowledge, Ilm, Ibadat and Amal, we are able to merge ourselves during our lifetime with Imam. But if we don't do that and if we die, not that we are going to be born in animal and karma and all those things are negated in Quran. That's not true. Because Allah is Rahman and Rahim. He will not put his beloved souls into downgrading. No, he doesn't do that. What happens, It that soul is conscious. Right now, we are learning, we are trying to remember what we have forgotten. Atma Ram Tame Bada Ginani. But we do not remember that. Through Zikr and Ibadat and Giryazari, we are trying to connect what Atma knows. But if we don't do the right work in right time, in right ways, those sacrifices, if we don't make, we keep on loving this mortal world, then what happens? We will have no breath left. We will not be living in this world. Then that soul goes into this cycle. The huge cycle is of 50,000 years. So the salvation can take as long as 50,000 years. Imagine 50,000 number compared to 80 years. A true mu'min, a smart mu'min would learn how to multiply his good deeds so he or she can go to salvation within this 80, 100 years and not get into this cycle of 50,000 years. So all those who are being born in a specific cycle, they all have opportunity to go through salvation during their lifetime with their free will. That is why all this hard work matters. That we listen to right knowledge, we do right things, elevate ourselves in spirituality, do our ibadat, give the son, our dua, our amal. That's why I read this kalam in the beginning that if we have kasavat, if we have all those sinning in our heart, there will be no resurrection. So all those things matter a lot during our lifetime so we can go through salvation and we can be with Imam in during this lifetime. If we were to not do that, we do not go through reincarnation. We do not go down. We stay in that cycle with full consciousness. At that time, our inner eyes are open. We are awake because we don't have body anymore. But our soul is awake and alert. It knows what is going on. And what happens? Constant Giriya Ozari, constant seeking Imam, but no ability to earn the good deeds. So what is hell? Hell is being able to see what I could have done and I did not do. Constant Pashemani, remorse, but no opportunity to be able to do good deeds. Right now, it's different. We have this power of making different choices. So the paradise is when we awaken ourselves during this lifetime and able to go to merge with Imam. During this lifetime, we are in paradise. We are already in paradise, being the mominins of Imam, followers of Imam. But again, paradise is also in levels. So the one who is brought themselves to life, they are awake, conscious, spiritually, intellectually, they know how to be with Imam during their lifetime. They are Fanafil Imam and what they are doing? Serfi Allah. They are Baka Billah. 
But the one who is not able to do that, when they physically die, now they are awake because their inner eyes are open. There is no physical veil on them. And in that, that awareness, consciousness, it's only pain, it's only Girya Ozari in the sense that I'm not being able to merge. It will take 50,000 years to get to be one with the Imam. Another question. Um, you know, our whole aim is to go into Asal Me Masal. Now, I'm not judging or anything, just a thought came to me while I was, while you were answering. If this is what we need to do, like we go to Khane and there's Dua and Tasbi and Giryazari, but like the real thing is not taught to us. Like we are uh, so old and then uh, I guess around 40, you say, oh my God, I missed the boat, I missed the boat. So you start looking, it's the glad looking. You're lucky you find the right person and they kind of guide you. But why is this not taught? Like, like you know, if, if you go to the church, the church people will tell you who, this 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 like like the training starts from the beginning you know i don't know it could even be an invalid question but no. I, I wish there was more help to understand this and i know there are different levels of souls but it's so damn hard like intellectually uh, uh spiritually mentally physically emotionally we have to balance all that and then he says all i want you to do is come to Kane. You sit in the chair, I'm in front of you, I will hold your hand and I will take you to the to the light. And then when we go into these discussions, it's nothing like that. Oh my God, this is a big, big, big difficult, this thing. So I'm not trying to put anyone down. I'm just trying to think out loudly that sometimes there is so much contradiction and, 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 and it's, my, it's my lack of understanding that I feel this way. But I, I don't know, you, you touched a, a something in my heart that I just want to pour it out. And you know, like you said, I just wish I could meet someone that could understand what I'm trying to talk and what is my question. My dear. How do I get to where I want to get? Because, you know, the health is not good, the mind is not good, the body is not good, and you've got to do all this, all this, all this. I don't know, I get so frustrated and COVID is getting to me. You know? <laughs> no, 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 Zinat, no, don't don't say that. You, you know what you just did for me? You made me Giryan. Honestly, it is coming from your heart. It is your Girya Zari. You are asking Mola Bapa. Ya Mola, I am seeking you and I do not know how to seek you. Yes, there are there are so many things which have which has gone wrong in our lives for whatever reason for whatever reason zenith but you know what today i hear you very awake you're open your heart is open and you're seeking imam so beautifully and you're complaining it's okay to complain to imam we cannot point fingers to anybody if we start pointing fingers then you know what we will be in the category of sinning we cannot we cannot what has happened it has happened. And, and sorry to interrupt. I'm not trying to, as a kid, I'm not trying to... Yes, I, I understand. It's just my frustration I know, coming Jan, out. I know, I know. I, I, I absolutely hear you. I absolutely understand you. But remember, others are listening. It's not only you and me talking. So for the benefit of others, we need to say these things, that we have to become accountable and responsible ourselves. Yes, there is contradiction too, unfortunately. Yes, we did not get knowledge in the right time. But you know what? The most beautiful thing is, as soon as you become aware, alert, regardless of your health, regardless of your age, Imam is so merciful. If you start doing the right thing right now, start from today, right this moment, if you start the, doing the right thing, understand, seek, and follow what you need to do, what will happen, he will multiply your good deeds. Ek ka sawalak. So whatever we have lost, we'll make it up. There is no bank in this world who would give us that much profit. It is all in intention. Zinath, it is all in intention. And what I hear you, oh my God, your soul is so ready. You are so beautifully, you just did Girya Azari. Don't undermine your plea. It was beautiful. No, COVID has not gotten to you. You are very sane. You are very logical. 
you are making sense you are doing giriya usari to mala baba you are yes frustrated and it is okay because frustration will become curiosity because today your frustration has become a question tomorrow it will become hard work the more you keep on learning from this you will keep elevating yourself once you and get I'm so grateful so grateful that you heard me you listened to me i i was so scared to say these things because i thought oh maybe people will be little me or like they will say i'm stupid or like what oh, the no. heck is oh, she no. talking about but you know like more plus is if you don't understand ask ask yes, ask yes. and sometimes you ask and ask and ask and the answer is not given in the way but but you've been so kind and so gracious and so loving and like an angel you explained to me what i was dying to hear you know and uh, you've given me hope if you could only just tell me one two three four five what do i have to do for for the benefit for the, of everyone i will really really be eternally grateful oh to you shukr mohan sina you know it's so amazing that when people ask what do i have to do you we all know it we all know it it's not that we don't know we don't do it so if i were to say zikr do you not already know we do know it but the difference is be connected to the meaning of the zikr do not be talking like a parrot if you are doing zikr with your heart zina you will not have dry eyes if your mind your heart is connected to what is coming out of your mouth there will be tears and it's tears which connects us to mola because tears cannot come out easily your heart has to be in such a pain so much longing for imam that you do want to get away from sinning you do want to get away from all that which is holding you back do zikr in abundance i'm sure you already do it do not miss your ibadat during ibadat the way you need to sit alert awake conscious do not stay awake late at night wake up on time and sit in ibadat when you sit in ibadat before ibadat you must do giriya wazari and that's why i am try my best to demonstrate in every class whatever you are feeling make it a giriya wazari and talk to mola baba that mola baba what i'm going to pick your words before bandag you say mola baba i am 40 years old i have lost my valuable time of my life i want you mola i do want you teach me show me how shed tears stand up if you're sitting comfortably stand up and do zikr do your ibadat do giriya uzari you wake up slap yourself wake up stand up do again giriya uzari do ibadat continuously become better better and better in the way you are sitting consciously in your ibadat 23 hours zikr 1 hour ibadat 24 hours then sinning amal ki pakizgi very very important zinat and i have tried to talk about these things in detail if you have not heard those lectures if you get in touch with navin or shanaz they will share all the lectures with you listen to that and make a list because each one of us have a different kind of flaw we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses each one of our demon is different when we listen to those problems spiritual diseases we need to identify what disease do i have where do i sin the most because shaitan identifies the weakness and then attacks it so wherever i am weak i need to find that and work on that today i have talked about it i have complained please do not repeat because it it just a waste of time for yourself not for others for yourself you find out where do i need to improve and how do i improve you make a commitment to your mola and you do improve yourself again you find yourself doing the same things because you forgot you become more strict with yourself become strict with yourself when we are teaching our children when they were young and they were not doing what they were supposed to do we knew what was good for them we punished them we did punish them to make them learn go to school do the right things how are we punishing ourselves i'm using strong words okay 
my carnal soul you feel very good when you eat food let me not give you lunch today because you don't listen to me that is why in order to improve we say don't talk talk less eat less sleep less because carnal soul gets its strength through these three ways when we talk more we sin without realizing when we sleep like you know rabbit we miss the time of ibadat and zikr those people who sleep less i always say mubarak baat to you congratulations you have win the war already do the zikr the time you are awake just do the zikr at least you will do the zikr in quantity and then eat less when we eat less we sleep less it's automatic so all these zinat has been talked about in detail in nutshell zikr o ibadat ilm o amal it is with the knowledge that you will identify where you are making mistakes and being able to learn the higher concepts where you will have more hope and you'll be realizing how do we need to be shukr guzar when a person who is poor and he says okay i'm fasting today what a big deal you don't even have food you fast or not fast you don't have food it's not a big deal but a person who has all the kinds of food and that person looks at that food and restrains himself or herself that's fasting this is very physical example now when when we are learning the true knowledge and we are able to see all the spiritual fruits the blessings of spiritual fruits in knowledge when we recognize those realities and recognition comes for those fruits there is high level of shukr guzari from the bottom of our heart we feel shukr guzari we don't complain there's no need for complain then because we realize what he has bestowed upon us so knowledge is very very important higher level of knowledge so we know what is more out there what are the secrets of imam what is to be recognizing imam this is very simple and basic we are trying to understand soul and i'm so grateful for the writer of this book that in simple concepts he's actually trying to he's teaching us not trying he's teaching us very huge concepts and it is giving us opportunity to talk about this huge concept which will make us more shukr guzar of our imam we will fall in love with imam more it all is inbuilt with knowledge step Thank by you step very very much from the bottom of my heart i think uh, i'm already experiencing a uh, uh, transformation i'm kind of vibrating <laughs> i don't know what's happening to shukr me mola, shukr mola. i'm going to wake up one hour early for ibadat amen very mola. much mola seva kabul kare se wajib lo bane jahan mein diye har ghadi ji zikr fikr aur ghar mein rakhe ko jo mota se kare zar na kare sirat e mustaqim par kaim rakhe manzil e maqsood sudhi ne fana bhi la jaye jo daraje sudhi pahunchaye amen khana wajib amen amen Amen. Any other question? If not, then I'll take your leave. Please do not hesitate. Uh, if you have any question, send it later. Text us. We will be very happy to receive your questions. Yali madad. Malali madad. Thank you.